what happens to the body when you do 100 push-up in a day. It might sound counterintuitive, but whenever you work out you're actually breaking down muscle, not building it. It's during rest when your body recovers and builds your muscles up to be bigger and stronger. In 1997, a group of researchers tried to determine just how long this recovery process takes. They found that our muscles continue to recover and grow for even up to 48 hours after we work out. By raising and lowering the body using the arms, push-ups exercise the pectoral muscles, triceps, and anterior deltoids, with ancillary benefits to the rest of the deltoids, serratus anterior, coracobrachialis and the midsection as a whole. Push-ups are a basic exercise used in civilian athletic training or physical education, and commonly in military physical training. They are also a common form of punishment used in the military, school sport, and some martial arts disciplines. On average, 69.16% of their body mass in the up position, and 75.04% in the down position during the traditional push-ups. In modified push-ups, where knees are used at the pivot point, subjects supported 53.56% and 61.80% of their body mass in up and down positions, respectively. The first thing has to do with muscle imbalances. Push-ups are great at training the front pushing muscles of your body. But your back isn't involved at all. If you regularly train your front muscles without training your back muscles, then the stronger front muscles will over time start to pull your body forward into a hunched over position with your shoulders rounded forward. Ideally, to balance this out, You'd want to perform plenty of back work focused on the muscles that will help you keep you upright and shoulders healthy, even as you're doing 100 push-ups a day. The rectus abdominis and transversus abdominis contract continually while performing push-ups to hold the body off the floor and keep the legs and torso aligned. The rectus abdominis spans the front of the abdomen and is the most prominent of the abdominal muscles. The transversus abdominis lies deep within the abdomen, wrapping around the entire abdominal area. Both muscles compress the abdomen, and the rectus abdominis also flexes the spine forward, although it does not execute this function when performing push-ups. The push-up requires the work of many muscle groups, with one of the primary muscle groups being the chest muscles, the pectoralis major and the minor. These are the two large chest muscles and the main pushing muscle group of the upper body. When pushing and lowering the body during a push-up, the pectoralis major is doing most of the work. As a result, these muscles become very strong and can become defined as lean muscle after doing push-ups regularly. Inner muscles that support the operation of the fingers, wrists, forearms, and elbows are also worked asymmetrically. Some push-up modifications that require to have the arms at different heights effectively engage the rotator cuff. Doing 100 push-up each day is not recommended because your muscles are not getting enough time to recover and you will feel more fatigued.